Good day everyone, and welcome to the Shadowbringers job introductions, this time featuring the White Mage. The Disciples of White Magic have received notable changes this expansion, in addition to a handful of quality of life improvements. For starters, we have the highly anticipated rework of the Lily system. Prior to Shadowbringers, Lilies could be accumulated by casting Cure 1 or 2 during battle, and then consumed to lower the recast time of other abilities. Following the rework, Lilies are now passively generated for every 30 seconds of combat, and can now be spent to execute two of the White Mage's newest actions. Firstly, we have a Flatus Solace, a powerful single-target heal similar to Cure 2, and a Flatus Rapture, healing all nearby allies, similar to Medica 1. The main differences, of course, being the absence of casting times and the lack of MP costs. In addition, executing either action provides nourishment for the new Blood Lily, a secondary resource that flourishes after three nourishments. Once in full bloom, the Blood Lily can then be spent to execute a Flata's Misery, an extremely powerful AoE spell boasting an impressive 900 base potency, one of the highest in the game. But the new White Mage brings more than just a handful of lilies to the table. For one, we have the new offensive spells Glare, a direct upgrade to Stone 4, and Dia, a direct upgrade to Aero 2, both recurring classics of the Final Fantasy universe. And at level 80, White Mages gained the new Temperance ability, providing a significant increase to their healing output while reducing the damage taken by all party members for its duration. On the other hand, the old AoE damage over time spell Arrow 3 is no longer present, but as consolation, Holy no longer suffers from damage falloff, and now deals full damage across all enemies. The old action Plenary Indulgence has also received an overhaul, now granting an effect that triggers upon being healed by Medica, Medica 2, or Cure 3, providing even more healing. And while minor, Divine Benison's barrier effect now scales with the White Mage's healing magic, as opposed to a percentage of the target's health. Further changes included the removal of the knockback effect from Fluid Aura, and the addition of an increased healing received component to the ability Asylum. Healer role actions received more significant changes. Among them, we have the removal of Cleric Stance, Break, Largesse, Eye for an Eye, and Protect. That's right, the classic Protect spell will no longer be present in Shadowbringers. And lastly, we have Repose, not being removed, but rather turned into a new role action. The changes to Lilies and the introduction of powerful offensive actions allows White Mages to both maim and mend with higher efficiency than ever before. But how do you feel about these changes? Let me know in the comments below, but until then, I hope to see you on the next job introduction.